This basically is God calling us to total commitment. This is God saying, I want you to determine what I say, bring to me what I say, present to me what I say, which is your body, and then release back to me the ownership of your possession. See, we, we possess ourselves until we surrender and consecrate ourselves to the Lord. It's such a beautiful picture. What is amazing is the extent of this call from God. It's not merely to pastors and elders. By the way, chapter 12 is not how we set aside our missionaries and set aside our elders and set aside our pastors. This is, look where Paul is in chapter 12. I beseech you therefore, brethren. He's saying all of you in the church. This is to the whole church. It's not just a select few. It's to everyone. And what the Lord says is, I want complete consecration. And by the way, complete means just to offer 25%. You know, that's what some people, they go, oh, I'm going to add the Lord to my life. I'll give him, you know, 25%. How about 50%? I, I will, I'm going to invest 50%. Now, you know, that's a majority. If, if you own 50 plus percent, you are a major, and 50 point anything, you're a, a majority stakeholder. God says, no, that's half-hearted to me. I don't want 50% of you. I don't want 25. I don't want 75. You know, some people really think, oh, three quarters. I'm a 75% committed. No, the Lord says I want it all. Even half-hearted, 50% worship is not accepted. Uh, it's irrational when we're confronted with God's mercy to only worship from 25% of our heart or half or three quarters. God says only worship that is wholehearted. That's why David said, with my whole heart have I sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. We're to give all that we have to all that we know about Christ. See, that's something interesting. It's not when I attain a full knowledge of Christ I can finally surrender fully. I give everything to as much as I know right now. And the more I live and grow and study and read and follow and seek, I keep giving all that I am to all that I know about Christ. That's what the Lord wants.